Hi friends, it is me, Trisha, and welcome to my kitchen. On today's episode of Cooking with Trisha, we are going to make Irish stew. It's cold outside, it's raining, and I need something that's gonna stick to my ribs. So let me show you what I'm going to make. The first thing that you need is your ingredients. So you're gonna go to the store and you're gonna pick up some beef. I like Publix. You could shop at Walmart. I enjoy Publix. So I go to Publix and I buy premium beef already cut up, which is easier and more convenient because convenience costs money and so does a good meal. You get what you pay for. But if you put time and effort and love into what you're making, it's gonna come out amazing. So you're gonna get your stew beef. You can also get chuck roast and you can cut it up yourself. It all depends on what you have time for. So a quick and convenient way, get your vegetables already cut up. So speaking of vegetables, you're gonna get a bag of baby carrots. You're gonna get an onion. You're going to get stock of celery and some potatoes. Unlike fresh at the store, I've had these for a while. So I'm gonna pop the eyeballs off and I'm gonna cut them up and they're still just as good as long as they're not green and rotten. You can use potatoes, they last a long time. So then I'm gonna pull out from my pantry, which are some staples, beef broth base, garlic, and iodized salt. But also, we're gonna have a couple things. We're gonna have some canned corn, and we're going to use some tomato paste, which is basil, garlic, and oregano. So you have all of your seasonings here, which is so easy. Then the next thing that you're gonna need since it's Irish, just like me, I love Guinness, Guinness Drought. And this is, the, this is the Nitro Brew, and I'm gonna use that as well. So then as for the tools, you are going to need a skillet. I love electric skillets. It is so quick and easy to stew beef, roast my chunks. What did I just say? <laughs> <laughs> my chunks of beef I like to I like to uh, I like to coat in some flour and I like to cook them in the skillet yeah and I use vegetable oil so those are the things from the pantry we're gonna get our skillet and then I have a potato peeler because some of you don't like peels on your potatoes I do <laughs> a can opener for your corn and tomato paste, a beer opener, and of course, a knife. I like outdoorsy stuff. So you can cook this on your campsite. I like it, your Irish campsite stew. So here we go. So now the first thing I'm going to do, I'm gonna cut up all of my vegetables. I'm going to actually put them in a bowl and then I'm gonna put them on the side while I cook my stew beef. So this is how we do it. I love these cute little bamboo boards because they're easy to keep clean and they're just really cute. I like to do charcuterie and things like that. So I'm going to take one of my favorite knives and I'm going to grab the onion, a couple of stalks of celery, my carrots and you can watch as I do this. Make sure to wash your hands and be very careful. Knife safety is incredibly important. So I take half a bag of carrots and I dump them out on the cutting board just like that. Mm, I love carrots. And then I just cut them up. But be careful to drop them because I always do. I'm not a culinary genius by any means. I just know that I love food and I'll do whatever it takes to get it in my stomach. Mm. So we're gonna cut up all of our carrots like so. This is very elementary, very, you don't need to have the best of everything. Dollar store equipment works great. 
just cut them up just like that mm. but there's some secret ingredient that i like to add to my stew and it's going to taste amazing when i'm done so that's a good amount of carrots you're going to want mm, all nice and chunky like me mm. i love a good stew especially on a day like today with with a nice loaf of bread and i have a bread machine and i like to make the bread so that is going to be so amazing see right here so then you have all your and i'm back so i cut up this is how you cut up <laughs> this is how you cut up all of your carrots this is how you cut up all of your carrots just like this put them in a bowl so easy and the next thing you want to do get yourself half of an onion very easy to prepare just cut off the ends unpeel it Onions don't make me cry. Have yourself a little trash bag. That's if you don't like a whole lot of onions. I honestly love onions, so I'm gonna add a little more. I'm actually gonna use the whole onion. If you can see here. I just love onions so much. Mm. I'm just unpeeling an onion just like this. So easy. Look at that beautiful onion. All the different layers. Cut it right down the middle different ways you can cut an onion. Many different ways you can peel one too. I like the sweet ones. Mm. Check that out. Almost done. It is going to be, oh, I wish you could smell this. It is going to be so amazing. Oh. I don't know if you know this or not. You can actually grow a celery. You can grow a celery by cutting off the bottom and planting it and it'll shoot back up again. There's lots of household, or there's lots of vegetables you can make. I like three good stalks, like just like that. There's a lot of vegetables that can grow. So I take this and mm, set those aside. You can use celery for all kinds of wonderful things. Then you just cut up your celery. I like nice chunks of it. This is great. If you've never cooked before or not one to cook, if you know how to chop better, be better at chopping. But for me, I just like the calmness of it it's very satisfying to me to be able to just just cut through it so then like this i add it to ooh, give it a good mix ooh, there's my stew vegetables so far what do you think amazing huh mm, keep on going so then the next thing I'm going to get is my potatoes. Now, one of the things about potatoes, like I don't like to really wash my vegetables that much unless they're like super dirty. But from the grocery store and everything, I'm gonna get about four, four good potatoes. And you can still take the eyes off of it if you haven't, if you haven't eaten them in a long time. And you just 
See, you just pull them right out of the bag. You can scrub your potatoes. I've got four good ones right here. So for all intents and purposes, I'm gonna just put them on this. I love, I love a copper pizza pie pan. This is, you can do all kinds of stuff with it. But I'm gonna rinse these potatoes. <laughs> and this is why I don't make videos because they never turn out right. So I take my potatoes and I cut them. I think I was talking for like five minutes and realized that I wasn't filming. So I cut up my potatoes just like this and I put them into my vegetable bowl. Mm, for all the stew vegetables. You gotta have potatoes and then the next thing will be your, the next thing will be your corn. Put it all in here like this. One more potato. It's gonna be exciting. But yes, like I said, I love big chunks of potato and vegetables in my stew. Because a day like today, it's so rainy outside and this is comfort food and the Irish, the Irishness in me. <laughs> mm. So you make sure you don't have too much. So then here you go. And then this is where I like to, I like to mix it all around and I season it with salt. So I like to just mix it all. Mm. I wish you could smell this. This is amazing. Mm. You got the celery, you have the you have the celery, you have the onions, you have the potatoes. So good. Then the next thing, we have you have the celery, you have the carrots, you have the potatoes, and then to add the corn. Mm. Now some people like to drain, drain the water out of their corn. I do not. I believe it adds to the flavor of the stock. So I just pour it all in here like so. Mm. Oh, it smells divine. So then I mix it up like this and just wait and see because I like it to soak a little bit as well. So we're going to add, I'm going to add some of the salt to the mixture. Not too much. Those of you who have, who have salt issues, you don't want to add too much salt, but you want to add enough to bring out the vegetables. So I'm going to let this sit just like this. Mm, just wait, it's only going to get better. So I'm going to let that sit. Now the next thing I need is a bowl like this. And that is where I'm going to add my, this is where I make my most amazing to make it taste the way that it does and it's going to simmer in the crock pot for the so I am going <laughs> I have so many pictures on my phone that I have to delete all of my apps to even take a video so one of my favorite things I open up the tomato paste and I get it all out of the jar or the can. Tomato paste is my favorite so this is what I'm going to add but you'll see what I'm going to add to it as well as the water. I'm going to add a can of water and this is what's going to go all over the stew beef and I just enjoy it very much. So if you are out in the outdoors and you want a hearty stew to make, this is definitely one of them. Or if you've been in the outdoors all day long, so forget like, well, I make a mess. I clean it up. <laughs> forget, forget all of those other, mm, so delicious. Forget all of those other little kits. If you put your mind to it and you Google it, you can find all of these recipes. And putting it all together, I like it from scratch because it just, it just seems to taste better, everything from scratch. I like semi-homemade stuff, but not always, not always. So we're gonna, this in here. So the next thing I'm going to do is get a, 
a can full of water. So then you're going to swish it. I always make a mess. <laughs> oh goodness gracious, it isn't me unless I drop something, unless I make a mess. But guess what? I clean it up. So I like to clean as I go. <laughs> so the next thing that I'm going to do, one of my favorite products is broth base and seasoning. And it's a broth bouillon. So you add it to more water. But because I'm going to add more water at the top, but I want to make sure it's all mixed in, I'm going to take a big spoon. I love being the little spoon. I like a big spoon. And you go in and, well, sometimes it doesn't agree with you. So you gotta, you got to be a little aggressive with your spices. So about that, a little bit more than that because you're gonna make sure it's all dissolved. So you're gonna put in some hot water. When that happens, you're gonna throw some chunks in there. I like it because it just makes it taste so beefy. And yummy, so that's, that's about it. Actually, you know, they say go big or go home. So I'm just going to add a little more. I'm going to go big because I'm already home. <laughs> All right. Mm. Get that nice hot water and then get yourself. Just put it under the hot water for a second. And you're going to get yourself da 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 a Guinness. That's what makes it Irish. That's what does. Mmm, goody, yes. That's it. So then I add it to this. And then the next thing ooh, you're going to do is you're going to stir it all together. But you're like, oh my goodness, how does it do this? Well, there's a couple of things that you can do. You can take an, you can take an inversion blender or you can sit here and you can mix it. Mm. Oh my goodness gracious. If you could see this. I always make a mess, but don't you worry. I'm the queen of clean. <laughs> I will clean it up just fine. And this is gonna be amazing to go over all the vegetables and all the beef. So we're gonna put that aside. We're gonna put that aside. Then... This is why I don't make videos, because I can't ever get one to go through right. <laughs> uh, put those things aside. The next thing we are going to do, we're going to cook the stew beef. So you've got your flour, you've got your spatula, you've got your beef, and you've got your skillet. So we're going to take that off. Now I love this skillet. It is just, it, it, I, I don't put it in the dishwasher. I just wipe it out and yeah. So that's what, what I do. <laughs> so what you're going to want to do, you're going to put some oil in the pan and be very careful because it's going to get very hot. I like hot things. I think I'm I'm pretty hot myself. <laughs> As for today, however, I have no makeup on. I'm not dressed up. I'm just here to I'm just here to cook for you. So I turn it on kind of hot. 
then I'm going to take my stew beef. I'm gonna open that up. Oh my gosh. You wouldn't believe how amazing this looks. Mm. Oh my goodness gracious. It was gonna take me 35 times to try to do one cooking video for you. I hope you enjoy it. So I take the beef. Where's the beef? Right here's the beef. And while that oil is heating up, I'm gonna give it some, I'm gonna give it some flour. So one of the things that I like to do, going back to my favorite little, my favorite little handy dandy pizza thing <laughs> that I used with the vegetables. It's multi-purpose. So I take out all of the beef like that. Toss it. Toss it in the trash. And then I kind of like, you know, get it like that a little bit to where you can just like see it. All right, so the next thing that I like to do is I like to cook my stew beef. And how I cook my stew beef, I like to put a lot of garlic on it. Garlic is my bae. Then I add some salt to it. Like so. Mmm, so delicious. And then I douse it in the flour. before I put it. I like to use Pillsbury, but I've never had any problem with any other kind of flour. So I put it all in the flour like so. And then I drop it in the oil. And I'm gonna do like a, I'm gonna brown it on each side. So I'm gonna put it like this. Make sure it's not too hot. Be careful not to burn yourself. Because you just wanna, you wanna make sure, I like to add it to thicken, I like to thicken my stew. And then that's when you take, so you take this. Make sure it's a little bit hotter. Mm. Oh, I wish you could smell this. It smells amazing. as you can see how it is here. Mm. And it'll brown really quickly because you have it in the oil, have it in the flour, and it doesn't stick. What other tool that you might, you might need I would say it would be a, a, a spoon to put that over here. So the next thing that you want to do is get your crock pot ready. While that's cooking, I like to brown it a second. Just kind of let it marinate a second. Then I plug in my crock pot the worst thing ever when you don't have enough cords, but be careful to not have a hot stove and use a crock pot because, and you have to be very careful because this could really hurt you. So be very careful. Plug in your appliances. All right, so I'm going to start off low. I'm going to open this up. Make sure to flip them over. 
Mm. Oh, look at that. It's already brown. Oh. That's going to be the best smoothie. You better use a spoon or one of these because you're going to transfer it over. I love cooking on a Sunday for my family. You don't want to cook it all the way through. Just enough to brown it on every edge. Mm. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Cooking comes from the heart. And I like cooking from my heart. This is almost done being brown. But what I like to do. So now it's time to assemble all of the ingredients. Since I have browned all of my meat, I'm going to leave that last. I'm going to take all of my stew vegetables and I'm going to put it right into the crock pot. Mm, just amazing. Put that in just like that. And then I'm going to put my stew beef on top, like so. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be amazing. I like all of the, I like all of the fatty pieces and I like all of the, the taste. I don't like to leave the taste behind. And I put all of the, the oil on top of the vegetables. And then on top of that, I'm going to put my specialty stew base. Mm. Oh, it's gonna be so good. So to assemble all of the ingredients, I like all of the taste. So I take all of that out like so. And then I take my wonderful sauce here. Like that. Get it nice and warm. Mix in all of the goodness. Like that. And then I'm gonna pour it on the top. I make sure it's all mixed in. Get all the little good pieces of everything. Make sure all the bouillon is mm, absorbed. I wish you could taste this. This is amazing. So then I get this to somewhat of a boil and I put it over the top. Just like that. So I get this to a boil. I stir it. Mm. Perfecto. Oh, yummy. I can't wait to eat this. Mm. <laughs> Did I just do that? I make sure it's nice and thick. All of all of the bouillon and all of the tomato, I make sure to stir in. This is one of my favorites. I turn it off. Make sure to make sure to turn off your little gadget. Unplug it when you're done. Move that out of the way. So then here I take this and I mm, sure to get every little drop out. All the bouillon and everything. And then 
Ooh. And mix it all up. Mm, I can't wait for you to see this. Mm, this is my Irish stew recipe. And all of the vegetables are going to cook down and it is just going to be amazing. Take a look at this. Amazing. So thank you so much for making some stew with me today. And we will, we'll take a look at it when it's all done. Does that look amazing so far? Thank you so much for cooking with me this afternoon. I can't wait to show you when it's done. So we put the cover, put the cover of the <laughs> crock pot on it and we just set it, we set it and forget it. See you in a few.